Hello. I gotta turn the music down. Uh, that should be good. Okay. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming. Hello, Ben and Nero. Welcome. Hello, Ultraplex. Welcome. Hello, me. Hello, Fuzzy. Hello. Hello, West. Hello, Clover. Hello, Yules. Thank you for coming. Guys. Hello, Degree. Welcome. I wanted to show you guys my pictures that I took yesterday. Guys, there was no stream yesterday. You know why? Um, I went on a little adventure. Look at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the bitrate went down so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it laggy? Oh, there it goes. It should be normal now. There we go. Look! Went to IHOP, guys. With my little friend. <laughs> I went on an adventure. Important matters to take care of. Yeah. Dude, I went. I was holding this guy in my purse all day just for this. <laughs> he was with me all day today. Oh, not today, but yesterday. He was with me all day yesterday. Hello, game guy. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. And then after I got out, I went to IHOP, okay? And this is like 6 p.m. on a Wednesday. This IHOP was empty. Look, at, I have to show you this. Look at this other picture. There was truly no one here. Look. What you see, I'm, I'm not lying. I was the only person in this restaurant. <laughs> I was so grateful because I was like, what if I walk in and there's like a bunch of families here and there's just going to be me sitting here with my Shadow the Hedgehog plushie. <laughs> I was really nervous, but luckily there was no one here. And okay, I went here because the Sonic menu, okay? I wanted to get the Shadow Pancakes. <laughs> I wanted to get the shadow pancakes, okay? And and so I walk in and it's like an older lady at the counter. She goes, Hello, how are you? I said, Hello. And I I noticed that they didn't have they had advertisements for some other movie. Uh, some other animated movie. I didn't know what it was. I said, Do you guys still have the Sonic menu? <laughs> Hello Aqua, welcome. I said, do you guys, do you have the Sonic menu still? And I had it pulled up on my phone. She goes, oh yeah, 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 we have that. She goes, it's at the table. And she looks, she goes, oh wait. And she sees it's some other animated movie. She goes, well, she goes, you know what? It's okay because she said all the items on the menu, on the Sonic menu are just normal items on the menu. And I go, okay. <laughs> okay. She goes, yeah, we can still get it for you, because she asked me specifically before she even sat me down. She goes, what did you want to order, hon? And I said, I showed her the picture. I showed her the picture. I go, can I have the, the chocolate pancake? She goes, oh yeah. She goes, we have that. She goes, come and sit over here. I go, okay, thank you. And so I sat down, and uh, she didn't even give me the menu, because I already told her I knew what I wanted. And so... She goes, okay, I'll be right back. And I was looking around, I was like, please, please, if there is a god, please don't let anyone see me. I'm so embarrassed. Edgy pancakes, we got those. But I asked for those four damn pancakes. Um, I didn't say it like that. I was too shy. I just showed her the picture. And I showed her the picture. She goes, oh yeah, we have that. And she went and I waited. And I took a picture while I was waiting. <laughs> I took a picture while I was waiting for my four damn chocolatey pancakes. Sonic menu seems a little underwhelming compared to the other menus you've seen. Ah, it's unfortunate. But you know what? It doesn't matter because, look, let me show this. Look. Wow. And also, hello, Sapphire. Thank you for coming. Welcome! Oh my god, yeah, me and my BF out here at IHOP at 6pm on a Wednesday. 
<laughs> Hello, Black. Welcome. Look, aren't they like edgy and dark and evil? Don't they look positively evil? The ultimate pancake. This is the ultimate pancake life form. <laughs> it looks good. It was pretty good. I almost be real though, guys. I didn't really eat it. I only took like a few bites. <laughs> I only took a few bites because I wasn't- I don't normally eat very much after I get out of work and um, I wasn't hungry. So um, I sat for a little bit. Um, I took some pictures. I took this picture. Let me show you the rest. I took this picture. <gasps> this one's cute. Look. He's sitting there with the pancakes. He's he's brooding. He's like, hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Hello Poncho, welcome. Now if only you had coffee the way Shadow canonically drinks his. Wait, black? I don't drink coffee. Oh no, Shadow, I'm sorry, I failed you. I didn't get you your cup of coffee. And I also fed him. He was a little hungry. He had a few bites. <laughs> Hello, Namazu. Very Rene. Yeah, I, I ordered the pancakes, but I, I just wasn't very hungry at the time. Can't handle that much sugar. It's just that I, it's not that. It's just that I wasn't hungry. <laughs> Maybe if I was hungry, I came home today and I had a few bites because I took it with me home. A little while later, she goes, "You doing okay over here?" And I go, "Yeah." I go, "Actually, I'm ready to to go thing." Dude, thank God, no one saw me taking pictures. If they did, I would have been so embarrassed. The whole time I was doing this, okay. Um, I'll show you this one. Uh, uh, the whole time I was taking these pictures, there was no one around me. Like the kid, the chefs were in the kitchen, and like. There was no, like I said, there was no one in the restaurant. The only, there was like this one old guy who came, I guess he was there before I got there, but he was leaving. And he walked past me. <laughs> but he was old, so I, it was okay. He was like old, he had like white hair and everything. But I, I was so embarrassed. I would have been so embarrassed. You like the idea of me buying pancakes and then mostly taking photos? Oh yeah, I've done that before. I've done that before. <laughs> and you, you don't. You'd need all that sugar if you wake up at four, at four, f half four in the afternoon. Honestly, what? You don't wake up till after four o'clock? Oh my god! Shadow doesn't have black coffee. He eats raw coffee beans because that's a. Oh, I should have just asked for the beans. What would you like to drink? Just the beans, please. <laughs> Dang, he's chewing on those beans. Had to return the Rena Lair and show us who will understand. Yeah, okay. I took the rest to go. I didn't just throw it away, okay? I came home. And I had it. And I told my brother, I go, here, I got you some chocolate pancakes. He goes, oh, cool. <laughs> so he ate some of them. And then um, there's. I came home today and I had a few more bites. They're almost half- they're like half done in their fridge. So they're almost- they're gonna get eaten. So they're not going to waste. It's not wasting food, okay? Embarrassed? Just tell him your internet credit is too high. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me those four damn pancakes. <laughs> he would have like just stared at me. I was so embarrassed. I'm, I'm so glad that no one- she didn't- dude, if she had come over and seen the scene with us, I would have been so embarrassed. I would have been so embarrassed. Use the beans and boiling water to wash them down. Boiling water. Your sleep schedule is horrendous. Bed at 7 in the morning, up at 4 in the- f oh my god. Oh, you're- you, we don't wake up till like- Four or five in the afternoon. Oh my god. That's insane. I am I could never do that. And then guys 
Um, I woke up today and I was thinking that later I'm gonna do this press the button stream and then I realized I didn't make a thumbnail. The thumbnail that I made on Saturday was for um Pokemon because that's what I was gonna play originally. Here it is. This is the thumbnail I made for Pokemon. <laughs> it's is it Bill? Is it Bill? Yeah, Bill T posing. I just put him there because he was in the game. Hello, Dark Pyramid. Welcome. But I, I realized, I was like, because I, I always schedule my posts before I leave in the morning. And I realized I didn't make a thumbnail, so I had to throw today's thumbnail together really fast. Pretty good, right? I did pretty good. I made that emoji. I didn't make it, I edited it. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Doritos! I had Doritos. I had some yesterday. Guys, yesterday also was a crazy day because I had planned to go to um, IHOP all week on Wednesday and you know what? I got on Wednesday, I got to work that morning and I realized, you know what, I forgot the plushie at home. I forgot the shadow plushie at home, guys. So on my lunch, I had to drive all the way back home to get in. So I wasted my lunch yesterday. I just ate, I just came home, I ate some chips and I went back to work with the plushie. <laughs> I forgot him at home. I had to keep him- I threw him in my bag. I was like, let's go! <laughs> okay. Um, this is the first question that I'm put against. You get 10 wishes without a catch. They will all involve- they all involve you losing a finger. That is a catch. So dedicated- yeah, I had to. You can wish for more fingers? No, I would wish that I had 20 fingers. My first wish, I wish for 20 fingers that don't feel pain. <laughs> and then I would just- that is a catch. Yeah! I would wish for- that I had- my first wish would be for 20 fingers that don't feel pain. That way at least only I have to lose lose one finger when and feel it, you know? Get more fingers, or your feet get chopped off. That's not here. It doesn't say that. That's not included. That doesn't count. That's not real. Don't lie. First wish should be to rename all your enemies Finger. <laughs> the kid named Finger. <laughs> Dang. Hello, Asprey. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Maybe that means you lose them like you can't- Oh, where they went? Like if you look down and they're gone, that's like a horror movie, right? Lurking after a long week- Oh, okay, no worries, thank you for coming. Is it your Friday? Is it Friday for you? You're so lucky. Only Thursday for me. I still have to go in tomorrow. They go to the socks dimension. The feet? I think have comments. First wish, I want all the game consoles ever created. Second wish, oh. Oh my god, I want Miku to meet my wife. Third wish, no war. Fourth. No war forever. Fourth wish, immortal. Five, five, five wish. All superpowers, 6th wish, richest man alive, 7th wish, have all games, 8th wish, wait, <laughs> wait, the first wish was to have all the consoles, and they don't wish for the games until like, their 8th wish. 8th <laughs> wish, pet unicorn, why would you want a unicorn? You don't need a unicorn. Horses are real. Ninth wish. My loved ones will ne never die. Hence, wish can I have my fingers? Oh, wait, why would you go through? 
First wish, I wish that my fingers didn't feel pain when they were cut off. Please wish for that. Um, would I push this? Yes. It's about 50-50, right? 55-45? Mm -mm. How does one play games without fingers? Yeah, I would wish for extra fingers that don't feel pain. And then I would I would I would wish for more wishes. Does Rina chew her food or does the food chew her? Okay. A cow? Maybe a cow would chew me. It's a revenge because I eat it. What's next? You get an infinite supply of Apple products, but you become homosexual. Um, doesn't matter. I mean, either one of these, I don't really care. There's a speedrunner who plays games using only his chin. Wait, how? Only his chin? Wait, what? How? <laughs> Weird. Like, they're heavy, getting hit heavy. I don't have- the only Apple product I have is the phone that I- Oh no, wait, I have an iPod. iPad, I mean. <laughs> the question is mean- no- oh yeah, no- yeah. No, like, anyway. Hmm. I mean, doesn't really matter. I mean, you could easily buy a phone. I already have all the Apple products that I'll ever need. Apple Pie! Oh yeah! Dude, that's the catch! When they say Apple products, they mean like Apple Corber, Apple, Apple like, Pie Tin or something. That's the catch. <laughs> Cover the screen just in case something bad pops up. This is fully user made? Wait, really? Cover the screen? Should I? Wait. I don't think I would press this one. I don't really care about Apple. Hello, oh, Cal said two ads in a row and they're both Burger King. You have to go to Burger King now. You're obligated. <gasps> it's an iPhone, but it's made of an actual Apple. Ooh. <laughs> That's a double twist. Apple pie, apple cobbler, apple crumble, apple butter. In a plot twist, Kojima revealed to you the player was gay. <gasps> oh my god, how did he know? How did he know? Wait, should I really cover the question before I show it? Oh, never check the comments, there's always slurs. Are you serious? Oh wait! Oh wait, you will die! I didn't even read the rest. Oh, I don't want to die. Yeah, I would definitely not push it. I didn't even read the rest. Hello, Straw Hat. Welcome. Okay, I guess what I'll do is... Here's, you know what? I'll just do this before I show it to you. I will make sure it's safe, okay? And then... Just before every question, it should be fine though. I think it'll be fine. I'll see you next. Um. Okay, this one's good. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bad teddy behavior. <laughs> You never come across anything bad in the questions, but just in case- Oh, okay. Just to be safe. Okay. Hide the bottom, have chat, make a choice, and then reveal it. Wait. Hide the bottom? What do you mean? Have chat, make a choice, and then reveal it? Reveal what? Oh! Like, hide this one? Okay, you mean like this? Like... You get a genie lamp, guys. Would you push the button? But the wishes you use, the genie uses against you. Wait, what kind? I wait. What does that mean? Like, the genie. Like, if I wish for a thousand dollars, the genie will 
take a thousand dollars or what does that mean? I don't understand to use against me. Wish for a nicer genie. <laughs> okay, yeah, I could do that. What if I wish my wish to be against myself? Oh my god. You're, you're, you're metagaming the genie. Wish for a dog and I guess a dog would maul you or something. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll try that. Oh wait, would I push this one? Um... I guess yes. Hello, Nyx. I guess there has to be a way to, to prank the genie. Yes, I will push it. Oh, most people wouldn't. Okay, let's see. Um... Okay, guys. There's, okay, what would you do? You can meet any dead person you want, guys. Would you press this button? What do you think? There's loopholes. There's always loopholes with the genie. That's the whole point, right? You get to meet the queen? If only you were a few months a few months ago, you could have met her at IRL for real. For real, for real. You can meet any dead person if you have a shovel. Hmm, <laughs> you're kind of- you're not wrong. You can meet their skeleton. You s wait, no, skeletons eventually turn into dust, right? They don't last forever, right? Or wait, maybe- Oh, the dog's barking. Maybe not, because dinosaur bones still exist. Maybe. You would not press it? Do you get to kill them afterwards? <laughs> no, don't listen to the dog. She's crazy. I'm sorry. I think someone's delivering food to the house. Probably for my aunt. Oh, I love this song. This is a windy valley, right? I love this one. Nobody's meeting dead you because you're getting cremated. Ah. I never thought about that. I wouldn't want to- I don't know if I would want to be cremated. I don't plan on dying, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Does it? I simply won't die. I mean, am I allowed to vote knowing the second option? Hmm... Is it fair? Um... You would cause a zombie apocalypse- You would press the button? You can meet any dead person you want? Really? I'm a fox, I'm getting turned into a rug. Imagine me skinned, like... <laughs> no, don't imagine that. Normally bones only last a few months, but dinosaur bones exist. Dinosaur bones got preserved. You guys would not press it. Okay. I will reveal. You will age two times fast fast. Would you still press it? I would not. Because honestly, there's no... I mean, I have a few family members, but... I mean... I don't know. I still think no. I would not press the button. You will age twice as fast. What would be the point in meeting the dead person unless you want a specific answer? Yeah. It doesn't change that they're dead, right? It's not like you're bringing them- If it, if it was bringing them back to life, I guess it would depend. Like, if it was my mom or dad, and I could- It's just meet them, though. It's just meet them. It's not like you're bringing them back. They're gonna die. They're gonna still be dead. I would not. Look, see, most people would say no. See? That makes sense. If you age fast, you die. If you die, you can still talk to dead people. <laughs> Wait, that's right. Dead people be talking. If they had something to say, they wouldn't have died. Right? I would- I would not press the button. I'm sorry. Um... Ooh. 
This is a good one. Hey guys. You can respawn if you die. Would you guys press it? You can respawn if you die. But you become a baby. <laughs> I am not gonna say- I, I can't tell you what the second part says. You will press it? Or do you repeat the day? I can't tell you what the second part says. And I can't tell you what my answer would be. <laughs> Guys, would you press it? Um, think about it. Like, you would just... you. I, I would say that... I would imagine that you respond as you are. It's ReZero. You're just like super for real, for real. You know, the only thing I've seen in ReZero is the rabbit. Or the rabbits, like, go crazy. That's the only thing I've seen in ReZero. <laughs> I don't even remember how I saw it. If it was, like, a clip that was on Twitter or something. I just remember I saw it a few years ago. I was like, what the heck? This is scary. Respawn as a random person? Let's see. You guys, you will press it. Okay, guys. What? A random person close to you dies in your place. Would you still press it? Would you still press it? You're still pressing it? No, I wouldn't. I would not press it. I'm sorry. You want your killer to die and I live? But what if it's- what if you die from like natural causes and then like your mom or dad or someone close to you you respawn but then they die what does it mean by close close to you dies oh wait maybe yeah it doesn't say like close to you like emotionally or close to you as in physically close like they're standing next to you wait hmm <laughs> i'm gonna die of old age and kill everyone <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Physically. Okay, if it's physically... You know, sometimes it's pretty easy to tell when you're about to die, okay? Let's say you're super old. Just go... to a prison where they have someone who's going to die anyway and say, let me die here next to them. Or something like that, you know? Just find an evil person. You can exploit it and stand next to your enemies? Oh yeah, everyone has an unlimited supply of enemies, right? One of your thousands of enemies? <laughs> you get murdered, then you did the good thing? Oh yeah, the murderer would die. Die of old age in a hospital and the nurse dies? Oh, you would have to tell people. I would not. I would not press the button, guys. Because I don't know, what's the status if you respawn? Are you like, a hun if you die at 100 years old, will you respawn again as you're 100 years old and just keep living? I don't want to do that. I would be like 100 years old. I would not be able to do anything. And like... I wouldn't die. And I would be a burden. People would have to take care of me. Dude, I don't know. I would not press it. Um, a lot of people wouldn't. Yeah. You can live forever. Okay, you know what? If it if you respawn as like 20 20 years old or so, then maybe yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe if- it depends though. If you respawn as old, then no. <laughs> no. I don't want to. Oh, top hat! Thank you for the sub! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, wink! Thank you so much! Hello, Grandmaster! What a kind person! Yeah, I would not- I would not, uh, want to respawn. Let me see what the next one is. Um... Oh, 
this is a tough one. Okay. This is a hard one, guys. What if you drive out to the desert right before you die? You, dude, the closest person to you? Like, what if the closest person to you was like some random person on a hike? Even if they're like miles away. Even if they're miles away, they would still die. I wouldn't press it. The last one, I wouldn't press it. Hello, Crumble. You can work in a palliative care facility? What is that? Palliative? What does palliative mean? Let me see. Provided by a specially trained team of doctors, nurses, and other who work together to patients, other doctors to provide care, extra love and support. Oh. What does that mean? You can diagnose people with cringe. <laughs> Would you guys press it? Oh. You have the ability to identify the cure to any disease. Caring for the dying. Oh. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, here, you guys want to see? But everyone who currently has the disease dies when you find the cure, guys. It's like if someone has a cold, you can cure the cold. But everyone who has a cold right now will die. Just tell everyone, get better, please. Please get better before. <laughs> get better, get better. That sure cures it, yeah. Hello, Kami. I don't, I don't know. You know what? Here was what I would do. I would push the button, okay? I would tell the world that I have this power. And let other people decide for me. When I, when should I cure this disease? Can I, when can I do it? I wouldn't want the responsibility. That's a lot of stress. That's a lot of stress, guys. I would put the responsibility on other people, but I still would want to help people. Hello, Kami again. I think I said hello. Welcome. Pulls the lever twice in the trolley problem. Oh yeah, remember when I did the trolley thing? <laughs> I'm not good with decisions like that. You haven't actively choose and identify the disease, or do you see someone sick and instantly figure it out? I don't know. Either way, probably. Expert at renal disease? What is that? In the long run, more people will be saved. I know, that's the tough part. Uh, that's why I said I would push it, but I would let other doctors and tell me when I should use, when I should cure what disease. You know? I would push it. See, a lot of people would. A lot of people want to help people. Hello, Zenokta. Thank you for coming. Being existential. But I do. I love being existential. Okay. Here's a good one. Guys, you get x-ray vision. Would you want x-ray vision? It's fine. You can cure cancer and save everyone after the ones who are dying already pass. In the time that they- before that though, more people are being diagnosed. It's- it's a revolving door, it's never gonna end. It's just a matter of which- who will volunteer to- to- to like- pff, that one's- that last one was tough. You get x-ray vision, guys. Would you want x-ray vision? You don't want to see people as skeletons? Scary! Can you toggle it on and off? You're constantly radiating everywhere you look. You need specifics. <laughs> I can't give you specifics, Fuzzy. 
Would you want it? Would you want extra vision or not? You gotta, you gotta make a decision. You'd pass. Mmm. Okay. Here's the, here's the, but. With extra vision, you can see the inside the gachapon. Oh. You can't turn it off. You even, you even ask. Can you turn it off and on? No, you can't. No, you can't. You are stuck with it on forever. You get radiation and die. Wait, X-ray has radiation? It's in your eyes. You'd imagine it's not actual X-rays. It's probably just yeah. You just—it's like a superpower. You don't actually have like the radiation. You know how when you're at the dentist and they take like x-rays of your mouth and they make you hold that thing in your mouth? It hurts so bad, doesn't it? They make you like, ugh, they make you bite down on that like thing so they can take an x-ray. Dude, that hurts so bad, doesn't it? Like below the tongue, they hold, yeah, they make you hold it like on your cheeks, they hold in different places. And it hurts. You don't want to see people naked? Oh, thank God. You can see inside Christmas presents. You can see inside the microwave. I already do that. I can already see inside the microwave. Superman shoots radiation, does he? What the heck, Superman? Why are you doing that? Everyone shares it? Shut up. They wash it in between. Don't say that. They wash it. They do, right? I got other people's mouth germs on my mouth. Ew. 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 <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, when they take uh, x-rays, Grandmaster, at the dentist, if they take x-rays of your mouth, they make you put this thing in your mouth. I don't even know what it looks like because usually when I go to the dentist, I have my eyes closed the whole time. But they just say, okay, open. And I go, and then they go, okay, now hold, bite down on this and hold it there. And it hurts. It hurts. They use the head scanner on you. Oh, wait, is that an option? You would be stuck in spooky land. Yeah, skeletons everywhere. They don't wash it. They do. They do wash it. Dentists hate you. Oh. Out of all the things you've had done at the dentist, that's the worst because you can't open your mouth that much. Me too. Every time they say open wider. And I can't open as wide as they want me to. I hate going there. I hate going to the dentist. This is someone coming from someone. You had four gum grafts? Wait, is that where they take like your skin? A graft is like when they move, they like move the skin, right? I've, <gasps> I've indirectly kissed thousands. No! No, don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah. No, I will not press this button. No. <laughs> it's like a little razor blade wielded to a piece of bike chain. Yeah. Paperish plastic square. I, I don't know what it looks like. Oh, the bite wing. Oh. The ah. Uh, uh. This is why I brush my teeth, guys. I don't want. I don't want all that stuff to happen to me. Yours doesn't hurt. You're scared. You're scared of my dentist. No! The dentist is mean to me. Okay, they're disposable. <sighs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You did the Jill face? That's not what I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I, I have to unhinge my jaw to, to do the Jill face. 
<laughs> I have to unhinge my jaw. The dentist bug, bug you bat. Oh no! This is why I always flush and brush my teeth. The x-ray hurt more than depending on the shape of the bony parts under your tongue? Really? My tongue? My bony... What? The bony part? My teeth? You can trust them, it's sterile. They don't use the same one. Okay. They sliced out tissue from the roof of your <gasps> mouth and stitched it in the area. Oh, did it hurt? Tell me they put you to sleep. Please tell me they put you to sleep. I will not push this. I don't want- I don't care about x-ray vision. Most people would not push it, see? Yeah. Next one? I- that, please tell me they put you to sleep. Um... This is a long one, hold on. Uh... Okay. Before... Okay, I think this is okay. This show. This is a long one. It took me a minute. They don't put you to sleep anymore, really. Just local... No! I can't do that. You had a tooth pulled. They put you to sleep, right? The numbing stuff... No! That's scary. They do that in horror movies. They rip out teeth. Ugh! That's nasty. Why didn't they give you to sleep? Before you are born, you get to see your life and how it is from how it is from you are born till the day you die, and you get the choice to avoid three of the most embarrassing, sad, or heartbreaking events throughout your life. So you get to pretty much you can delete anything embarrassing, three things in your life. Moments that were either like embarrassing or they made you sad, you know, you get to delete three of those moments in your whole life before you're born. Would you guys press the button? You were awake when they took out your wisdom teeth and it was fine, you prefer it that way. I've had, I've had like root canal before and they put me to sleep. They put me to sleep. This is before, like... This is what made me realize I should brush every day. I should care more. This is a while ago. I would delete the old man from IHOP. <laughs> he knows he has to be taken care of. I have to- he cannot walk out of here alive to tell other people of my cringe. <laughs> I would delete everyone more more successful than me. <laughs> You've been told you have a high threshold for pain. Oh, I don't like pain. You felt it. That's horrible. He's pulling yuck. You would rather not get put to sleep? Really? Why? You don't remember you were maybe 11 when it happened? Oh. What are the three most embarrassing moments of my life that I would want to get rid of so far? Well, this is the thing. This question is talking about throughout your entire life. So maybe I haven't had the most embarrassing moments of my whole life. But so far? I mean, I have more than three embarrassing moments that I wish never happened. But you know, in the grand scale of my entire life, I don't know if they matter. It depends on how embarrassing it is, like... How about a- ah! Oh god. Wouldn't deleting those risk changing every event after them? really you know it's just like maybe it just changes how it happens like maybe let's say that your embarrassing moment is 
your pants get pulled down in front of everyone? Maybe, like, everyone blinks right when it happens, and so no one actually sees it. <laughs> Maybe everyone blinked collectively in the room, and no one saw your underwear. Maybe. But the other half is you gotta be a VTuber. Ooh, no. I think the first... Okay. Mm, embarrassing moment I would delete. Um, definitely... One time I was in elementary school, okay? And in my elementary school, there was this area behind the cafeteria. The cafeteria was its own building. It was a big building, okay? And behind it, it was like a fenced off like alley. It was like a fence. And it was about... Ooh, it was maybe like four feet tall. It wasn't like a high fence that was like, like, you know, it was mostly just like, it was a gate. They opened it and closed it and like the janitors went back there and stuff like that. And there was a ball, okay, a ball fell behind the gate, okay? <laughs> and I had to, I wanted to go get it. Okay, when I was little, we had- we wore uniform, okay? And my uniform was- it was a skirt and it had like, um, uh, what is it called? Suspenders? It was a skirt with suspenders, okay? And- and so I climbed this fence, guys, and- oh, it's so embarrassing! I climbed the fence and the back of my skirt got caught on the top of it and I was- I was literally hanging there. I was hanging on the back of my skirt. I was so embarrassed. The teacher had to come help me get down. I was crying. I was so embarrassed. I wanted- I just wanted to go get the ball. Free show show. <laughs> I think this was like maybe this was maybe fourth or fifth grade. It was elementary school. Oh my god, that was definitely a moment I would erase so far. Everyone sees and is impressed and gets jealous. When they did the consultation for your molar implant, they offered to put you to sleep. It would have cost you extra. Luckily, I'm lucky. My parents paid for it. It was when I was younger. I was like maybe like 16 or 17. I think they paid for it. Uh, I, it's because I have anxiety. I told them straight up, you know, I'm gonna cry if you do this to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Grand Illusion. Thank you for coming. They gave you a doll and the doll shirt said I love my dentist. They gave me a blanket. When they did my teeth, they gave me a blanket. Like a weighted blanket. They wanted to make me feel cozy, I guess. He thought it was like two or three days ago. Shut up. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh... Full power Rena is fun AF. Wait, I'm full power right now, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'm fine now. Oh god. Okay, oh. Okay. But, you will also have to sacrifice three of the most amazing or most joyous events of your life. If this means that I would erase going to Miku Expo, I will not press it. I would not press this button. I would not erase my memories of going to Miku Expo for anything in the world. I'm sorry. I thought you were gonna say, yeah, no. This is an awful bat. Yeah, I will not press this button. Bow when it is full power, yeah. The bigger the bow, the more powerful I am, guys. <laughs> Direct correlation to my brain, my power level. Pretty smart right now, pretty smart. Feeling pretty big brain genius right now. Oh, 
comment on summer welcome there's only one moment in your life that you'd happily repeat oh what is it i think for me number one is definitely like i said miku expo i'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life i cried guys i literally like I think I already talked about it, but the mo the lead up to that moment when she finally appeared on stage, my heart was racing. I get anxious and nervous. My heart was going fast, and when I saw her, I cried. I was so happy. It was the best day of my life. I would not change that for anything. I'm getting emotional now, thinking about it. I would never get rid of that. <sighs> that was my favorite moment of my whole life. I hope I can go again one day. <sighs> Imagine erasing your entire future bloodline just to avoid being embarrassed. <laughs> Dude, I was super embarrassed when my when everyone saw my chonies. <laughs> I wanted to die. I wanted to die. And you know, sometimes I would wear the the stockings. Of course, this day I didn't wear them, I remember. Of course, I was so embarrassed. That moment, like, affected me mentally. <laughs> Thank God I went to a different junior high school than everyone. Your saddest moment was also your most joyous event? Really? How? Brain cells are almost double digits. Almost! Okay. Almost? How about this? What now? What do you have to say now? What do you have to say now, huh? Holy moly! <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah, yeah. Perfect, yes. I'm reaching my maximum level. Real fan right here, yes. When you were a kid, you didn't really have many friends, but you had one. He was allowed to bring a single friend to Uber Blast, and he picked you. Oh, that's so nice. Your friend went with you. Is it an amusement park? Uber Blast? I never heard of it. You wish you were even a quarter as wholesome as me? Really? Am I wholesome? I'm normal. One day, yes, one day. One day. I watched Jaden Animation's video about Miku. I literally cried because she went to Magical Mirai. I was so happy for her. She just like me. She cried when she saw Miku on stage. I cried watching her video because I was experiencing it through her. I was like, oh my god. It's such a beautiful moment. I look bald? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even know how big it's supposed to be. That looks fine, right? You're counting 12, 12 moments you would want to erase? Make it cute. No, I can't make the bow that big. It would be too powerful. The stream would crash. <laughs> Uber Blast sounds like a music festival? Oh. Not my, it's my brain and not my ego? No, I have, I'm very humble, okay? I am the most humble person in the world, okay? I'm very humble. No one's as ever as humble as me, okay? Oh, that comment fast. <laughs> you were the only guy in your group of female friends. You went to a hot tub and they all went to <laughs> They all went topless, but you couldn't see anything because you you're blind to the bat without your glasses. After that, you got eye surgery. Wait, really? Your eyesight is that bad? 
How close were you to them? Did they do it intentionally? Wait, they did it intentionally? Bragging about being humble is very humble. Yeah, it is. I have to let other people know. Dang! They did it intentionally. Oh my god, they're messing with you. <laughs> Maybe they just told you they did it. Maybe they were all wearing flesh-colored swimsuits underneath their normal swimsuit. Can I ruin the moment for you and tell you that they were all wearing flesh-colored swimsuits under their normal swimsuits? <laughs> it wasn't real. My ego is gigantic. It's nearly as big as my head. Yeah. No. Wait, no. I'm very humble. They're comfortable with you, so you're just getting pranked. Oh my god. I, I don't know if I could... I would never prank someone like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could never do that. I would never do that. How old were you? When that happened? Sad no bazongas. <laughs> Oh, 22. Okay, I thought you were going to say you were in high school or something. I was like, what? I was like, dang. Don't press the big red button. Don't do it. I will not press this button. I Like I said, I will never forget that night of my life, that Miku Expo. No. Most people say no, see? Most people would not press it. Imagine, yeah. Um. Oh, look at this one, guys. You can have the best voice in the world. Oh, this is tempting. This is tempting for me. Ah. Uh, I. This is tempting. Hmm. The button fires nukes. I would. Oh, shiny button. Already doing. No, there's so many different songs that I can't sing because maybe they're too low for me, or they just. I yeah, I can't do it. I want to be able to sing everything. Yeah, <laughs> you can have my voice. No. Get pranked, here's my boobs. <laughs> I already have this poisonous but No, I, I don't. I don't by far. You only hear the best of what I have. Okay, that's why. I, I, only, I only sing songs that I know I can sing. There's so many that I want to that I can't. You will press the button? Okay, here's the, here's the catch. But you can't record or sing in front of anyone! What's the point? Guys, this is a hard one. Oh no! So nothing changes? Nothing changes for you? I- I would not. I move out, I can be as loud as I want. That's true. Full power. Yeah, that would- then... Dude, that would be me at my full power for sure. For sure. In the meantime, no. If it was just you cannot sing in front of anyone, I might press it, but you can't even record. You can't even record. This is tempting here, but without this? No. Can't record, but you can live stream. Wait. You're right. Uh, is there a loophole? What if I just don't have the VOD saved? I'm not technically in front of anyone, am I? <laughs> uh, no, it would be too- I would be too- I would not. No. Uh, no, I don't think I would. Mm. 
You can have the vase because you're not recording it. Twitch does it for you. Oh my god. I'm not doing it. It's doing it for me. Someone else is doing it. It doesn't count. <laughs> um, This one's not very interesting, honestly. You can have a Lamborghini. Fuel prices double every Christmas. I don't... That's no. This is like... I don't understand the point of people wanting like sports cars, like fancy cars. Oh wait, yeah, wait. You have the car to sell it. Wait, you're right. How much is the Lamborghini, Lamborghini worth? How much are these worth? Like, a lot? $67? Oh, for sure. I want the money. Get a Lambo, sell the car, buy a bike. You guys are geniuses. I would have said no. <laughs> I didn't even think about selling it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh look, someone else said that they would also sell it. Sell the Lamborghini and buy a ra racing electric car. I would buy a normal car. I would press it. Most people wouldn't. Fuel prices for all of the US. I don't even know. Or just for me? Oh wait, that's true. People would hate me. <laughs> wait, wait, what if no one knows it? It's because of me. I just wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> are you are you serious? Three hundred thousand dollars? For a car? I would totally sell it. I would totally sell it. Okay, question is... $100,000 appears in your bank account by mistake. Would you guys press it? $100,000. It'll single-handedly plunge the US into a Great Depression. But I'd have a Lamborghini. <laughs> Let's just say it's just for me with the gas increases, the gas prices. Wait, the thing is also, if I sell it, and will it, even if I drive a normal car, will the gas still go up? That's like for the rest of my life. What if I have someone else put gas in the car? Is that a loophole? <laughs> By mistake, is it illegal money? Sure. The other guy is cursed with doubling gas prices. It's like that movie, It Follows, where... Is that the movie, right? Where, where that thing chases you? It Follows, right? That's the movie I'm thinking of. You prefer 100k in the hands you don't want to be tracked oh wait it is in your bank account can they track it then oh the other half is you have to spend every cent in two hours or you get arrested for theft guys can you spend a hundred thousand dollars in two hours Re easy really what would you buy You would really? Electric racing car? It's just a toy slot that runs on special racetrack. <laughs> a toy. Fan art made an MS Paint made by- Wee! Wait! You would buy my art made in MS Paint? Really? My MS Paint art? Pay off some of the house. Oh, I need a house first before. I don't know what I would spend it on. Oh, that's so nice. You you would you don't have to give me any of your money. You should buy something for yourself. If you had a hundred thousand dollars, 
I would probably try to buy a house, but that's nowhere near enough. 100,000 down payment? Oh wait, it's true. If it was more, then I would consider it. Can you buy a house in two hours? Doesn't it take longer? This person adds it all to Steam Wallet. <laughs> You don't know other ways of spending it in two hours? Personally, you'd trade the Lambo for Aston Martin. <laughs> She's a racer, right? Steam wallet. Pay your dad the money for rent and you can- Oh! That's true. Maybe. I would tell my dad. I would give it to my dad so that he could know what to do with it. He would help me. My dad would help me. Oh, wait, I would- wait, would I push it? Um, I guess so. I would find something to do with it in two hours, or I get arrested. Here's the thing. I think that, um, even if they arrest me and I go to trial, I think I would win. I would just tell them I didn't know. And they would let me go. Most people would, yeah. Launder the money, buy a bunch of expensive stuff, sell it off fast. What is that called again? Um, scalping? Like for tickets? Okay, this one. Um. Okay, dude, this one is crazy. You get infinite wishes, guys, that can be for anything you want. Doesn't that sound amazing? Wouldn't you want this? Don't you guys want infinite wishes? You do, right? I know you want infinite wishes. That's crazy, yeah. This is a good one. Ooh, infinite wishes. You could wish for... You could wish that the Silent Hill 2 remake is good. You could wish for that. You could wish that you could go to Magical Mirai Miku concert in Japan. You could wish for that. Some things are impossible. Like what? Wait. No. You can have infinite wishes. See? Me personally? If I had infinite wishes, I would wish... Ooh, I would say, I was gonna say that I could wish for my wishes, but infinite wishes. Ooh, I would wish for a house. I would wish for a normal house. I don't even want like a mansion. I just want a normal house for me to live in. And a good enough PC to stream any game. You wish for me to get my- Ah! You don't have to use your wishes on me, but if you had infinite wishes, I would appreciate that. Guys, if you guys had infinite wishes, would you spare me a wish or two? I would definitely give you a wish if I had infinite wishes. I would wish you all had happy, happy times. Here's the downside though. Your whole family, including pets, will die, and them being wished back is the only thing that can't be wished for. Guys, this is it. This is it, guys. Would you trade your whole entire family and your pets for wishes? You can let me wish them back? No! You would trans- wait! Here's the thing. I wish... Okay, let's say you push yes. And your family dies. I wish... my Your first wish... I wish for all my wishes to be transferred over to this person. And it goes to that person. You can't wish your own family. They can wish your family back, right? 
Can someone else wish your family back? You think so? Is that a loophole? You let- you wish for me to have good luck? That's a really good power. Yeah, that's what you're saying? Oh my god, there's the thing is you don't know if that would work. If not, then your whole family is gone. Oh, this is a scary one. I definitely wouldn't want to risk it, I'm sorry. All the things I would wish for are theoretically possible, just really unlikely. You know, you could wish that you were, you could, you know, how about this? Can you wish that you weren't, you were able to get over it really fast? You think you could wish that, how about you wish for copy, copy, copies of them? Oh, this is tough. How about you wish that you got over the grieving process really fast? <laughs> How far does it ascend the same household? Wish to transport your loved ones 10 seconds before they die? Or go to an alternate universe that's extremely similar and live there? Here's the thing though, as soon as you say you- before you can even make a wish, they would be gone. You can't say, I wish I lived in an alternate dimension where I had a completely different family. But here's the thing though, let's say that right now, let's say that in the past, in the past, you may have pushed this button, but you were, you were adopted by a different family. Let's say that your original family was lost because you pushed the button and the family you're with now is not your real family. What if it was that? What if eventually you would forget them? I would still push no. <laughs> I would. I'm sorry. I love my mom and dad too much. I can't do that. Ooh, that's, a, that's scary. A loophole. Ask your family to disown you for a day. Oh my god, that's right. You guys like just kick me out and um, alienate me. I would still push no. I did not press the button. Most people didn't. I love my- I love everyone and my dogs too much. My dog. Next question. Um, okay, this one's pretty simple. You can see ghosts. You guys want to see ghosts? This is like that movie movie The Sixth Sense where that kid can see dead people have you guys seen that movie? no you don't want to see ghosts? you would be scared because a ghost is watching me right now? you guys really think a ghost is watching me right now? any ghosts? kill yourself ghosts Nothing's happening, guys. You know, an old man did- before we bought this house, this old guy did live here. And he only left because his wife died. Do you think her- like... You still here? Like, as a ghost? You think so? Is it possible? You can see ghosts, but you will- you can never tell whether someone is real or a ghost. I mean, does it matter if it's your mom or dad? You would know they're whether if they're dead or not. People would see you like talking, trying to talk to a ghost. You'll touch them and <laughs> oh yeah, real people would have collision. I mean, I guess there's not really a downside. What's the downside? Really? Why would most people not press it? 
Wait, is there like a hidden downside I'm not seeing? You would just have the ghost of smart people follow you and help you do tests. <laughs> yeah. Like, who, who's a smart person that's died? Dr. Seuss? Maybe? Why have most people said no? I don't understand. What's the downside? Being ghosts makes them angrier. Really? They're shy? <laughs> shy ghost? Einstein? Oh, I guess that guy was pretty smart. I guess so. I guess he was okay. I mean, honestly, what did he ever do? Uh... Oh, no! This is- okay, wait a minute. Is this not- is this- is this Breaking Bad, guys? I've never watched Breaking Bad. Is this Breaking Bad? You are a highly respected... Bad thing, Cook, who has just earned 80 million dollars. Your brother-in-law is a DEA agent. A bunch of people want to kill you and you end up in a shack with yourself in New Hampshire. Is that- is that Breaking Bad? I've never seen it. It is? Okay, I guess no, I would not press the button. <laughs> I wouldn't press it. I've never seen it. I don't think I would. Yeah, most people wouldn't. <laughs> Dang. Okay, what's the next one? Um, mm, I don't know about this one. You are granted the ability to see other people's past or future at will by touching them. You can see their past or future by touching them. You could you could make money from doing this. You could tell people you know I can see your future. You can make a lot of money. You could easily become like a billionaire doing this. People would want to know, like, how they die or something. Imagine talking to girls like you see your future as your wife. <laughs> I see you and me together and we're happy. Did I give you any ideas? <laughs> On that grind set, yeah, I'm always trying to make money. <laughs> All these questions, hmm. How can I profit off of this? <laughs> How can I profit off of this? Hmm. How can I do that? <laughs> the catch is what you see irrevocably replaces a random part of your memory, like the past five days or six months, five years ago. You will randomly forget stuff. No. It's too risky. What if you forget where you live? What if you forget who you are? You forget your days out as a fetus in the womb? Dude, I wouldn't replace those days for anything. You guys remember swimming around? It was pretty great, right? It was like zero gravity. For real. I already don't have very many memories. I have a bad memory, guys. I can't afford to lose anything else. <laughs> I have really bad short-term memory. I suck. You never forget me! Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. I don't want to- it's too risky. I don't want to forget anything. Yeah, most people don't want to forget anything. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this one. <laughs> For sure. I'm actually glad that... Okay, I, I cannot show this one. I'm sorry. What's next? 
Um. Okay. Is it bad? Is it, yes, it's a little not safe for work. I can show this one. I think. You become the most attractive person in the world, guys. Ooh, would you push the button? Would you guys put- would you want to be the most attractive person in the world? Objectively, like, everyone thinks the same thing. Like, every person is like, Oh, that person is the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Like, there's no one who has an opinion of, They're okay. Everyone thinks you're the most beautiful person. You don't need to. You come asexual. Mm, that's not the catch. There is a catch. That, there is a catch. <sighs> Your gender is reversed. I would be the most giga chad in the world. Imagine that guy. <laughs> What is that? That the Giga Chad, the 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 black and white guy. For the longest time, people were saying he is Photoshop, and it turns out he wasn't. He just actually looks like that. Imagine that guy with a pink bow. That would be me. <laughs> that would be me. Yes, yes. <laughs> I need to make that image. The Giga Chad with a pink bow and glasses and big round glasses. That would totally be me. Your girl now? I would. I would. Because you could become a model and you'd be rich. I think I would. I mean, I would prefer to be... I would still prefer to be me. But you know... It'd be pretty cool to be like pretty the most beautiful man in the world, right? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice way to spend a Thursday afternoon, right? <laughs> I think lots of people would easily hit the button. Yeah. It depends it, yeah. I think I, I I would I don't know. For the rest of my life though, I don't know. Maybe for a Thursday afternoon. I mean, 50-50. Honestly. You're a girl now. Yeah, you would be a pretty girl. Imagine me. I would stay the same, yeah. <laughs> Not much would change. Not much would change. Oh, mystery question number 1000? Thousand? Hello, Spinset. Welcome. What do I want my future to hold? A million infinite wishes. I want infinite wishes. <laughs> no visible change. <laughs> I am the Giga Chad. If it's temporary, then I would push it, but for my lifetime, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, a lot of people would. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's the next one. Ooh, wait, I've always wanted this. You enter a different world? of your choosing that you can control at your will. I've always wanted this. Wait, the question was, what do I want my future to hold? The mystery question. I just want to be happy, dude. You know, I don't know what it means. I just want to be happy. I don't have a very good concept of like the future. Like, even for short-term things, I can't imagine a lot of things. As long as I'm happy, right? I want all my wishes to come true. And that I'd be happy. You can't leave the catch? If I could go to any different world of my choosing, 
I would definitely make Poke go to Pokemon World. For real. I would want Pokemon to be real. Can't even comprehend the now. Yeah, where am I? Where are we right now, guys? What's going on? I'm so confused. Would I be the trainer or Pokemon? I would be a trainer! Which continuity? Um, I'm not too familiar with the show. Probably the game. Yes, this is Sonic Adventure 1. This is, is Windy Valley, right? Windy Hill? Or Windy Valley? Yeah, yeah, Windy Valley. Windy Choo! I would be a trainer. I would want to be a trainer, like going on my adventure from my hometown. I would specifically want to be in Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I would want to be in that that world. Ah, ah, that would be so perfect. I want that so bad. I would choose Cyndaquil. As my starter Pokemon. Teddy Ursa. Oh yeah, Teddy Ursa is Gen 2. Yeah, I would totally go to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Mm -mm. I would choose Cyndaquil. And Cyndaquil would follow me around. Ah. Oh my god, when I was little, I used to imagine like every day that. That's what I used to imagine every day. But like they were real guys. I would play I would play Soul Silver. After I beat the game, I would specifically like I think it was always I think my favorite was always Fox Pokemon guys, because I remember after I beat the game and I, I got a Vulpix, okay? And I hatched it. And I went back to the hometown. The hometown? And I pretended to play the game again <laughs> with a Vulpix as my starter. And you know how in like the third town there's like a Pokemon school? I would pretend that every day I had to go from my home to that Pokemon school. I would RP in the game. <laughs> I'd be like, let's go Vulpix, we're going to school. And I would have my character walk there. I would have my character walk from from my ho the hometown to the Pokemon school in like the third town over. <laughs> I wish it was real so bad. Ugh. This would be my dream. You love Gen 2? You think you would do the anime world? It's relatively safe and towns have more than just three buildings? Ooh. Maybe I should watch the show? Talking about Gen 2 then. Maybe I should watch the show. I mean... It's a lot to catch up on, actually. <laughs> After many years, the world will cease to exist. They don't say how many years exactly. They don't say exactly how many years. This is tough. You can make sure you could never leave a Pokemon town. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I've seen your videos. I've seen your videos. <laughs> Asri would torment me. The one that I always remember is uh, being stuck with like the the Voltorb that only knows explosion or something or self destruct. <laughs> that only knows self destruct. Ah. Uh... That sucks. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. They say many. When they say the world, the world, the Pokemon world? I mean, yes, I would still do it. Do experience it for a few years. Yes. Yeah. I would come- I would just come back to this world, right? I would just come back to this world? Nothing changes, you cease to exist after your lifespan anyway. Wait, mm, does that mean I also don't exist anymore?
Does that mean I also don't exist? Oh, guys, I just erased my existence by accident. Uh-oh. You need more info? Yeah. More information is needed, please. When you die, the world can disappear. It doesn't really matter. I no longer exist. No, I do want to exist. What's the next one? Oh my god. You are immortal and have and have changed into the perfect me. Or you. Would you guys push the button? You're immortal and you look you're the perfect your final form you. Imagine final form Rena. Immortal. <laughs> What if you're reborn on another planet? Ooh. Are you homeless in this new world? Oh wait, that's true. Um, maybe your parents would also be teleported? And it's like, when you come back to your own world, are you the same age or has time still passed? That's a tough one. Is it like, can you just be isekai'd? And when you come back, you're just- it's just- it's like you were only gone for an instant, but you were gone for many years to you, but to everyone else it was only an instant? You would press it? Every grandma finally gets my posture corrected. It's not that bad. Cracks bones. <laughs> it's not that bad. Will Mama and Papa Chu know about the Pokemon rules? Um, let's just- let's just say that they were also born into that world and that they know everything. You know? I would totally, totally do it. I would totally press the button and become- and go to Pokemon World. Pokemon Soul Silver World. Specifically, I want to go in, uh, Johto region. You become perfect. But you have to kill someone, any anyone, a criminal or someone you hate, once a month and make it bloody. You would kill someone once a month? Wow. I don't know what's the downside. <laughs> Dude. Does anyone here know Russian? What does it say? <laughs> Why'd you be something horrible? I don't think I would- I- I don't think I could kill someone. If I'm being honest, and it, ha it has to be bloody. I- I don't- I don't think I would- I could do it. Like, imagine holding a knife up to someone. And actually like doing it. I, I I can't. I'm not a psychopath. Okay, you kill people who are in death row. Oh wait, maybe that's an option. Can I close my eyes as I do it? Even just knowing though, that's tough. Imperfect Rena absorbs Android 17's <laughs> 17 and becomes improved. This Dragon Ball, right? I think so. Yet no Russian? Killing so killing killing his person ain't no big deal, yeah. You put the gun to their head and pow and Yeah. <laughs> killing a person ain't no big deal. This Eddie. You would do it. You look them in the eye? Oh. I don't know then. Just strap some grenades and set it off while you're away. Does that count? It is. It would be bloody. Hmm. It, it would be bloody. It, that would be really bloody. Maybe. Ah, guys. I don't know if I could live with myself. Even if it's a bad person. I don't want to see- I don't like seeing violent things. 
would scar me for the rest of my life. This button is just what the Umbrella Corporation pushes every day. Is it if it was in a video game, I could do it, but in real life, I don't know. Can't I become- can I not become the perfect me on my own? I want to be perfect me. Just be the violent thing. Oh, violent. Uh, I don't want to see violent. And they say the following program contains uh, graphic uh, depictions of violence. Viewer discretion is advised. I ch I don't watch. I don't watch. I don't want to see that. I don't like seeing those things. What if you become a superhero and kill bad guys? I would send them to jail. I wouldn't kill anyone. I would just send them to jail. Yeah. Too pure. I just don't want to see violent. I don't want to see gross stuff. I would become Batman. Oh yeah. Except I would use a gun. <laughs> no, I would not push the button. A lot of people would. A lot of people are in their violent era. Um. Uh, this one's fine. You can learn any instrument you want in two days. Guys, what instrument? Wait. Oh, instruments. Oh, you can learn all of them. In two days. Ooh, I would want to learn guitar. I think guitar is so cool. Like shredding on the guitar or bass. I think that would be so cool. Or like piano or violin. Game maker. That would be amazing. You can learn any instrument, like, super fast. But look, guys. <laughs> the downside. No one can hear it but you. Sad. Sad face. What's the point? What's the point? No one can hear it except you? Really? What? I don't think so. I don't know if that's- that doesn't- No, I'm sorry. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe. <clears throat> so if you record yourself playing it, it will just sound silent to anyone else? Maybe that's what will happen. Probably not, then. I would want to share what I could do. Yeah, most people said no. But here's the thing, if you don't learn any- if you don't know any instrument at all, there's not really a downside. <laughs> it's either you continue to not play music, or you can only play it yourself. To yourself. It's not really- it's not really a huge issue, you know? Wait, what? Uh, maybe not this one. Wait, this one? Okay, this one is contradictory. Hello, Big Rig Oni-chan, welcome. This one doesn't make any sense. The person of your dreams falls in love with you, but... Hey, okay, well, look at this. But... You stop loving them? Then that means... Wait... Does this only happen once? What's the point of this then? If you- if someone you love doesn't- if someone you don't like... 
likes you. It's still fine. <laughs> really? What would you do though? Imagine like the person you hate the most. And they they love you. You I'm 14 and this is deep. <laughs> It means they're not the person of your dreams. That's what I'm saying. Will this only happen once? Because once this happens and you don't like them anymore, can you love someone else and this will happen to them? They will love you, but then you stop loving them too? Is it, Or does it only happen once? Hello, Arrow. Thank you for coming. You could still be with them, even if you don't like them. Like, imagine your most- imagine- imagine, like, someone you hate. I don't know, I don't really have, like- Oh wait, this is- oh wait, imagine if- guys, imagine if Leon falls in love with you. Imagine! <laughs> Imagine if Leon was real and he loved you. <laughs> what would I have left? Whoever made this button has not been in love. Really? Why? What? Really? Hello, Fable. Welcome. Can you fall in love with them all over again? If you love them to begin with, it'll be worth. Aww. Maybe. I mean, it has to be a loophole. You don't have to hate them, you just don't love them. You still like them, but aren't in love. Oh wait! Oh yeah! So this is just some- okay. At, at best, this is someone who you- someone who like, you think is like a, a 5 out of 10, loves you. You know? Maybe that's- maybe that's it. Hello, oh yeah, hello, hello! Because it doesn't say you'll hate them, just be neutral. Hmm. Maybe. But what if the person you love isn't real? <laughs> what if they're not real? Did you guys see? I saw, um... Uh... The- There's leaks for Resident Evil 9. Hello, Aqua, welcome back. The 5 is still a 10 if they love you? No, but after- after- because of this, can't love 5 out of 10s? No! After this, they become- even if they're your 10 out of 10, once you choose, push this button in your- in your eyes, they become like a 5 out of 10 to you. You know? Like, that's what happens, basically. Like, they could be like, your number one most, you love them most in the world. But once you press this, for some reason, you just don't feel the same. Like, they become like, mm, maybe a 5 out of 10. That's what you would say. Easy button press does not know how desperate some men would be, really? Oh. Oh no. If you had your memories of me wiped, you would still build friendship just because you are who you are. Aww. Memories wiped? Ah, uh, I guess so. I guess at least you're guaranteed that someone will love you. Or maybe. I would push it. Oh no, most people- Uh oh, most people said no. Oh. Really? At least when you push yes, you're guaranteed someone will love you, right? Wow, I didn't think it would be... Usually they're more 50-50. Dang. A lot of people don't want to lose that, I guess. They'd rather have no chance. Or what is it? They'd rather have, like... They'd rather... They'd rather have someone 
They'd rather want someone from afar than not really care about someone who loves them or something. I don't know. You would also said no because you're not able to make the person who fell in love happy. Oh! If you think you're not good enough to for them, maybe? Is that what you mean? Oh, I didn't think about that. No, but it said that they would love you. That means they would be happy no matter what. With you. Right? Maybe those people are already present who love them. Oh, maybe. <laughs> happy people. <laughs> Imagine. There's too many normal people, guys. Next one. Oh, I would hate this. Look at this. You never have hiccups for the rest of your life? You feel like you need to sneeze and you're not able to for the rest of your life. I would- this is- who cares about hiccups? This is torture. This is horrible. I would not want this. This is torture. That feeling of like, uh, uh, I would hate that. Dude, what a hi no one cares about hiccups. Are you stupid? This is the easiest one. Why would anyone want that? I know. Dude, hiccups are not as inconvenient as this. This is horrible. I will not push this button. Apparently you stop loving them, so then if you get with them, it'd be fake and this you can't make them actually happy. That's deep. That's deep. Me? I would have Leon rescue me. If I, I would be the president's daughter and Leon would rescue me. From a faraway country in Europe somewhere and evil bug people that's just me though imagine having mega allergies that I dude I'm telling you this is a horrible feeling you cannot go like this for the rest of your life this is torture I would not push this button easily. Well, I guarantee you this would be like everyone would say no. Hiccups are not bad. They don't hurt you. Hiccups last a couple minutes. I know. Get the feeling I like Leon. Guys, they said that there's certain leaks about Resident Evil 9. Can I- does anyone care if I say what I saw? I saw it on Twitter, so, you know, it's like a 50-50 whether it's real or not. I will not press this button. I told you, most people would not push this. No one cares about hiccups. You're muting? Okay, if I'm still in the middle, I will tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when you can unmute, okay? When I move back over here, you can unmute. Um, okay... I saw, I saw, it, um, someone said that there's certain leaks from semi-reliable sources that Resident Evil 9 is gonna have Leon and he's gonna be like 48 years old or something, close to 50? Uh, I was like, what? And they also said that cause next year is a, no, 2026 is the 30th anniversary? That they're gonna remake one again. You know, this is very unconfirmed. Yeah, they said that RE9 would take place in 2024 or or, or, or our current year, 2025 or whatever year it releases in. Can you imagine? That's crazy. Can you like <laughs> imagine old man Leon? I have to know what he looks like. I have to see him. Okay, spoilers are over. Okay, all that is just speculation. No, no, for sure if it's real or not. 
Okay, next. Uh... Okay. You can teleport anywhere you want on Earth? Chris is already old? How old is Chris canonically now? Like, in the last game? Is he really old? You can teleport anywhere on Earth. Every time you do, time forwards 10 years, you age too? No. <laughs> Why would you tell- you can literally travel, like, this is not something that's hard to do. Like, teleport? Yeah, no. It's useless. I wanna- I- dang. I really want a snack, but the kitchen is so far away, guys. Hang on, teleports. <laughs> teleports to the kitchen. Ages 10 years, teleports back to my room. Ages another 10 years. <laughs> my back hurts suddenly, but I have my snacks. <laughs> Dang, this is so dumb. No one would do this. <laughs> no. You age too quickly as it is, pass. Yeah, no, 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 no. See? Some of these are getting really easy. No one would do that. Um. Ooh. Okay, this is kind of easy too. You will never have to eat, drink, or breathe again. All food will taste like uncooked Brussels sprouts and every liquor will taste like olive oil. Just don't eat. <laughs> Just don't eat. If you don't have to eat, why would you? This is an easy one. <laughs> Just don't eat, bro. <laughs> you miss your parents' age. Your brother's wedding and your wife's birth to get to go somewhere faster? I would teleport to the kitchen. <laughs> it makes you immortal? Teleporting? Oh, the oh yeah, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You would save a lot of money, too. You don't have to buy groceries. Oh, you drink alcohol? You don't need to drink alcohol. Oh wait, maybe alcoholic. If you're alcoholic, don't push this. Or maybe you do. Maybe it'll cure you. I would not. I would- I mean, I would. I would push this. I don't have to- I could- I could go underwater! I could go underwater and just go diving and not have to breathe. That would be so cool. I would. Really? I thought more people would. I don't think- why don't- I don't understand. Well, you, if you don't have to eat or drink, then what's the downside? Just don't eat or drink. Olive oil doesn't taste too bad anyway. It tastes oily. Underwater pressure would smoosh you? I wouldn't go very deep. I wouldn't go very deep. I would just go like scuba diving length depth, I mean. This is not too bad, that question. Some of these are too easy. Um, um, um. Oh, maybe not this one. Maybe not this one. Uh, oh, no, 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 not this one. No, no, no. Uh, oh, okay, here, here's one. You can morph into anything, but you can never turn into return back to your real self. What if you want, what if you Okay, 
let's say you take your real self and you change your hair color technically you're not your real self you can just like that's not your real self all you did was change your hair color slightly <laughs> i would push this yes <laughs> this is easy of course i love I, I remember i said i would want to i do want shape-shifting powers i want to turn into a cute dog or a cute cat or something You'd morph into yourself two inches taller. <laughs> Actually, yeah, see? That's not your true self, so you can still turn into that. That's like just barely not obvious enough to where people would like, like, something off, but I can't figure out what. <laughs> they wouldn't know exactly what it is. <laughs> Press it immediately, you'd morph into a cute anime girl. Aww. Maybe this is an easy one. Wouldn't have to have your face all over again smashing that button. <laughs> I think anyone would. Your real self? First of all, if you want to morph, then you wouldn't really care about your real self to begin with, like how you look, you know? This is an easy one. an easy one. I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, more people would not put- oh. I don't understand these people. Who would say no to that? Morph into VTuber, never return. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you still turn into yourself from 10 years ago? Ooh. I don't know. That's actually a good question. You know, technically it is you, but is it your true self? Hmm. Hmm. Shape shifts into my model and does live camera stream. Oh yeah. <laughs> it would look really uncanny valley, wouldn't it? You'd have nightmares. Oh, no, I am not going to answer this. Guys, thank you so much for suggesting I screen the questions first. <laughs> this is so cursed. Um, wait. Wait, what? What does this mean? They probably don't think about it as much as we do. They're so silly. I would totally become a shapeshifter. Won't have to sleep or you're always tired. Oh no. I would not want that. It feels horrible to feel tired. You gain the ability to alter reality and the ability to jump between existing realities. Books, movies, games, anime. But once you use one of these abilities, you lose the other permanently. What abilities? To alter reality? I guess so, right? Yeah, yeah, some of these are so like... What kind of question is this? They're kind of, they're kind of weird questions, for real. Um, just don't use all of them? Yeah, I guess. I don't exactly understand the question. You can alter reality and the ability to jump between existing realities. Once you use one of these abilities, you lose the other permanently? Huh? So either you can change this reality or go to a different reality from a fictional series, but doing one means you can't do the other? I would go to a reality where I own my own house. <laughs> and I would never return to this one. Because you can either change this world or travel between fictional worlds. Oh!
change this world or travel between fictional worlds? Ooh. Do you think in the Pokemon world, guys, people would actually be evil? The only bad thing about being in the, having Pokemon world be real is that people would definitely kill each other. Like, they would definitely use Pokemon for evil. Like, they would burn people with fire Pokemon. It's like, the only bad thing. If I could go to a Pokemon world and guarantee that everyone is, is good, and that it's like, PG-13 at worst, then yes. I would definitely go to the Pokemon world. But if everyone and crazy people also went there, I would not want it to be real. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. If no one can behave, if you can't all behave, then we can't have nice things, okay? If you want to burn down the bank and collect all the money and then fly away on your Charizard, I'm sorry. We can't have that happening. I'm gonna- I'm gonna have the- I can't- I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, class. We can't have Pokemon real. Sorry. Global domination? Yeah, you would make Yu-Gi-Oh cards actually come out when you duel like in the anime. No t no real teddy bear so I'm sorry, Asprey. It's too risky. People would kill each other. People would, like, destroy each other. Even- even still, like, there's some evil Pokemon. Imagine if, like, Deoxys was real or Mewtwo. That would be horrible. That would be scary. Imagining that they're out there somewhere. My god. That'd be nightmares. There's creatures that cause hypnosis, natural disasters, and random people's control- yeah! Yeah, yeah, no real scary Pokemon. And Darkrai? Ah, scary. He has nightmare powers, right? Mewtwo is just a silly little guy. Was he misunderstood this whole time? <laughs> Dang. Um, what did you say this one was? Either change this world or travel between fictional worlds? Yes. I would. I would still do it. I would travel to the Pokemon world only if everyone was good. Yeah. Everyone has to be good. Oh my god! I'm just gonna show you guys this one. I'm not gonna comment on it, okay? I am not gonna comment on this one. Of course I would not push the button in this case. People in Pokemon try to blow up the world? What about Team Rocket? Um, I think Team Rocket would be the worst. If Team Rocket was the worst... <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad. I mean, they just try to steal Pokemon. They can easily easily be stopped. Let's move on. I would, of course, not want this to happen. Um. Um. Oh, look at this one. Could be worse. Could be both. <laughs> oh God, that'd be a nightmare. This one's pretty good. Mom or dad? I am not gonna comment. I don't wanna think- I don't wanna think about it. I don't wanna think about it. Free games! <laughs> it's whatever. You pass it for free games. You press it for free games? Are you serious? You- it's- it said it forced you to watch. You understand that, right? You can't just like- Your eyes are glued open. Okay, 
you get to live in a cool adventure video game as an NPC. I would. I would be- I, this, it always comes back to Pokemon. I would be an NPC in Pokemon. That's an adventure game, right? Is Pokemon an adventure game? Right? I don't know, actually. I know it's an RPG, but... As a merchant? Oh yeah, like the merchant in Resident Evil? Hmm... What are you buying? Like that? <laughs> I would be an NPC in Pokemon. I would be like an early, early trainer. <laughs> I would be the kid going to this Pokemon school, remember? <laughs> Thank ya. Thank ya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm surprised. I thought more people would say yes. I thought more people would say yes. Let's see what's next. No, this one's Harry Potter related. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Hello, Rima! Unofficial interdimensional twin. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Thank you for coming. You want to be the NPC that surprises you with relatively tough team in Pokemon? Oh my god, you're like, you have like level 99 Rattata or something. Oh my god! I, oh my god. Can I go show you this question? <laughs> I have to show you this one. You're babysitting, so you're just sitting here vibing. Oh, nice! I hope it's not too hard. I've had to babysit some of my cousins before. Really weird. Oh. 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 Level 99 fear. Strat, Rattata, and Normal Radicate as your ace. Where's Chongi Rat- Okay, guys. This is so ah! <laughs> What's the catch? <laughs> There's a certain- mm, This wouldn't really affect some people. You know, maybe it's not that bad. Um... Would you care? I don't think I would care. I don't think I would care! <laughs> nothing changes, yeah. I was gonna say, nothing changes. Um... Uh... Again? <laughs> again? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> yeah, how did, how did you... <laughs> oh my god. Again? Question mark? Google Fiber though, that's pretty good. I've been having like the fastest internet, the best gaming rig. Oh my god. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, what? There's normal people here, I'm sorry. There's too many normal people here. Honestly, can't relate. Dang. What is this? Are you for real? People like clapping teeth. Dude, I would still rather have this. Doing good so far, so I think I can survive. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't push blank. Oh, it doesn't matter. Your farts don't stink, but they're always loud. <laughs> Imagine you're like in a church. 
Imagine. <laughs> Hello. Not a bot, winky face. Hmm, I don't know if I trust you. Are you really not a bot? Hmm. Running out of water. Become a living air freshener. Cotton candy. No. <laughs> I would not. I would not push this. That's so embarrassing. They don't stay. I don't really. I've never had this problem. Maybe I don't have a bad enough diet. I need to eat more Hot Pockets and pizza. <laughs> Not really. Because at least if it's- Okay guys, think about this. At least if it's stinky, you know, you could- If you're the first one to say, what's that smell? People will not suspect you. <laughs> you just gotta make sure you're the one that says, what's that smell? And they'll be like, ooh, what is that? And then you go, I think it's that guy. And they're like, oh, no, no. <laughs> if it's like, if it's loud though, they can definitely tell where it's coming from. He who smelt it dealt. He who smelt it dealt it. Wait, really? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> really? You don't fart around people anyway. Oh, that's true. That's that. That's that's a good point. No more gassing yourself when under blankets. Why would you do that? I've never had that problem. Hello, Art. Ariston, welcome. You'd rather not be walking whoopee cushions, so you- Yeah, I would not push this. Like I said, imagine if you're like a place, an echoey place, if you're like in a castle. Like, imagine. That's so embarrassing. I like you got the experience with that stuff. No, I don't. That's what I'm saying. If this happened to me, I would be so embarrassed. It didn't say if the gaming rig is always the best. I feel like it was previous one with a trick. No, 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 no. Fart reverb, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly the one you're talking about. It said it, it said it was literally the best gaming rig. It even said that. If you were in the Sistine Chapel, oh yeah. I would not push this. I'm sorry. I would not push this. No. Yeah, most people know. <laughs> no one wants it to be really loud. Like I told you, if you say, if you're the first one to say, Hey, I think that guy farted. I had a stinky in here. Uh-oh, stinky. <laughs> you could totally do that and be a jerk. You could totally be a jerk and do that. Uh... Oh, this one's easy. You can see the future. You will know every spoiler for every TV show you watch. I would definitely push this. I would care about seeing the future more than a TV show, you know? I would, I would totally push it. I don't care about spoilers for a TV show. I've already seen every good TV show that I want to see. So it doesn't matter. Think of all the bets you'd win? Yeah. <laughs> How can I profit off of this? <laughs> My mindset. You want it and steal the movies and sell the scripts? Oh, wait, yeah, that's true. You could tell people what's gonna happen. What if you see something horrendous and you can't change it? Ooh. I could at least know it's happening. I would probably try to prevent a lot of stuff though, it's a lot of pressure. You spoil everything with TV tropes and have to live with it. The future could be bad but lottery numbers could make you wealthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the lottery? That's a lot of money. I would totally push this, yes. Most people, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to know the future. How can I profit off of this? Yes. Fingers, hands touching, my hands touching. Hmm, how can I profit off of this? <laughs> Next. Hmm. This one has too many words. I don't want to read all of it. This is this is kind of relevant for me. <clears throat> Every time you fall asleep, you can do whatever you want inside your dream. That's lucid dreaming, right? But you will have a headache every day of your life. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. It's tempting. The future could be a bad lottery, members? Yeah. Well, we win at least two or three times before people start to get suspicious? No! You only need to win once. And it's a big one. The lottery. Yeah, I mean, this would be cool, but can't you train yourself to do lucid dreaming anyway? I've heard you can. I don't know how, but I, I heard you can. You get lucid dreams when you're about to wake up in the next 30 minutes, so it's unnecessary. You know, sometimes in my dreams, I will vaguely realize I'm about to wake up. Like, I can tell when I'm about to wake up. And then my alarm goes off. Does that count? I wouldn't push it. I don't want a headache. I hate headaches. And it is a knower. I know, I know everything. Yeah, I know everything. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> One time I had migraine, one time, it was when I was in high school, I had a lot of anxiety, and mental, mental things, and I kept getting migraines, and one time it got so bad that my mom took me to the hospital, <laughs> and they gave me a shot, guys, when you have a migraine, they give you a shot in your butt, did you know that? <laughs> They literally gave me a shot in my butt. Internal clock is really good, that's probably why. Ooh! Oh boy, 5 a.m. Time to wake up. I told him about the doctor too, yeah. That was weird. That was weird. So you can go to bed late but still wake up at 6 naturally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. That'd be a funny emote. Me getting a shot in my butt? What? No! I was crying because I had a headache. I was crying at the time because I had a migraine. I think that happened twice. Where she took me in. I remember- I remember happening twice. No, I don't want to push this. No one wants a headache. No one wants a forever headache. Oh my god! <laughs> this one. I think I already have a f this effect on people, actually. <clears throat> you can control people with your voice. You might damage their brain. <laughs> I think you being here is already not too good. <laughs> for your brain. For your well-being. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just a little bit of damage. 
just a little bit, just to the front part. Just to the front part. You know? <laughs> um, maybe. It says you might. 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 Not guaranteed. Might. Yeah. That'd be an evil power. It shouldn't be trusted with that for sure. But for sure, you wouldn't push this button, right? You would totally not push the button, right? Totally wouldn't press the button and use it for evil. Sorry, I need a cough drop. Tell me the odds. 50-50. Mm. 50-50. I <laughs> told guys, I promise you, I promise you I would not push the button. I, tol I totally would not press this button, okay? Trust me. Oh, you can see it. <clears throat> okay, I guess it's fine. You may potentially press it. It says I pressed it. No, I didn't. I blocked it. You couldn't see. Trust me. You were mistaken. You will be able to build a healthy relationship, romantic or otherwise, with anyone you meet instantly. But never see or be con con contacted by any of your current friends or loved ones again. Mm. Uh, I can make friends. I mean, I would want to make friends. I would know. I would want to know how to. Oh, or loved one. Oh no, never mind. I thought this was gonna be easy. I thought we were just friends. I was like, I don't have current friends. <laughs> Give up all your current friends to make new friends, right? No, I would not lose my family. Nope, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I see most people. How can I profit off of this? <laughs> That's not, I don't think that's one you can profit off of, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Ooh. This is interesting. 100% chance of getting into heaven? Hmm. You have to spend a day in hell every month. Ooh. One day, <laughs> just one day. <laughs> I've done worse. <laughs> You're saying you get a sh sugar spouse, wait for them to die, get the money, and send half of it to your family? Oh, dang, that's a long con, that's a long game. Hello, baby Coulson. You'll press the button. Hmm. <laughs> Hundred percent chance of getting to heaven. Unless days at work sign you up. Yeah. <laughs> I have a job. I already know. I already live this every day. Five days a week. day yeah is that why you're still alive uh, I would assume yeah that requires that these places exist <clears throat> I would assume that this question would make it real like guarantee that it's real you know I would assume 
Like, if you pushed it, that means that it's guaranteed that it's real. I would say. Okay, one more, because it's getting late. I didn't know it was this late already. Um, let's, let me think, let me find a good one. For the last one. Why is there so many Harry Potter questions? This is the second Harry Potter one. You can go to Hogwarts. I don't care, I don't want to go to Hogwarts. Ending so soon? It's been two and a half hours! Is that soon? Oh, and not this one. This is not good enough. Guys. Look at this. You become the world's best hacker. I'm already the world's best hacker. <laughs> Most people would say no. I'm already the world's best hacker. Did a 12 year old write this? Probably. Maybe. I want to find a good one for the last one. If you're the best, then no one will catch you. That's true. That's not a good one. Mm. This is not a good one. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's some evil people in this. Yeah, there's definitely some evil- thank- oh my god, I am actually glad that- Oh my god. Uh... Oh <laughs> wait, this was actually good. Oh my god, hold on. This one requires a prop. Okay, here's the last one. You get superhuman physical skill, a 20 times longer lifespan, can change your physical appearance once and become filthy rich, guys. <laughs> but, hold on, let me get my prop. <laughs> okay, look. You have to wear a cursed fedora. What are you saying? What? That you cannot remove from your body. It will make you look hideous and repulsive to everyone, including yourself, no matter how good you look. Guys, I may have pressed the button. <laughs> I may have pressed the button. Milady? Milady? Tips Fedora? Pretty cursed, yeah. Milady? I literally pushed the button, guys. <laughs> you wouldn't care at that point? Yeah. You're like super strong. Sonic Adventure music, are you melting? I like this. This is my favorite song from Sonic Adventure 1. I remember it when I played it. They will leave. <laughs> Am I cosplaying as Scatman John? I don't know who that is. Let me see.
No, he has a mustache. I haven't- I don't have a mustache. You become a Giga Chad, then the fedora should look good on you anyway. This is- this is a paradox. Hmm. You're already a shut-in? Yeah, I guess the, the- the really good thing is you just live 20 times longer. But then look, it says you can change your physical appearance once. But it says you look repulsive. What's the point of this? I would push it. I could still be- I could still be a VTuber. I could just be like- I could just have a longer lifespan. And I would never get sick, right? I would totally push this. The only bad part about wearing the fedora is what if it's hot? You can't take it off, you'd be sweating. I would push it. What the heck? People care about looks too much, okay? Huh, I would totally push it. Okay guys, that's it for today. Here's my schedule. There it is. <laughs> today was really fun. Maybe in the future I'll do more of these. These are really good. I'm leaving, I'm sorry, I have to go to sleep. If only there was- if only I could not go to sleep. <clears throat> Hello Sour Grapes! Welcome, I'm sorry I'm ending. This is today, tomorrow, Code Veronica. Guys, I really like Code Veronica so far. I think I just really like the- Uh... Fixed camera. Tank controls. Resident Evil. It reminds me of 1, 2, and 3. I really like it. Especially after playing 0. I like it more than 0. <laughs> I really like it. Did Shadow like the pancake? Yeah, look! Uh, where is it? He's eating it! He's eating the pancake. See? Really hot. I might have to turn the fan on. Did I get the rest of my brother? It's still in the, in the fridge. I did, but we haven't eaten. It's a fan. It's the Miku fan that I got from Miku Expo. It's keeping me cool. I have to turn the fan on, guys. <laughs> it's really hot today. Some of these questions got me sweaty. <laughs> it's like a folding fan. Gamer girl sweat. Oh, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Tomorrow's code, Veronica. Open the door or oh, I'm gonna oh no. throw rocks through I'm sorry, your Dr. windows, Phil. you dumb whore. Please, I have a fedora. Want the money. Uh, I'll raise enough hell till no. you give in and give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the button prompt you want. You'll never get tired, but you can never lay on a, on a bed. You never get tired, but you can never lay down. Oh dang! So like, you can't even like, even just to lay like to sit. Can you sit down? Can you lean back? How far can you lean back? Uh, it can. What if you're like sitting up just a little bit? Like, getting technical here. Did I see the other Dr. Phil ASMR? 
No? 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 If it's that one lady on YouTube, uh, I'm kinda don't wanna- I don't wanna watch. <laughs> I'm kinda scared. <laughs> I have to go. There's one where he chases you- Oh no, yeah, I have seen that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I've been coughing. I might have to take my, like, emergency medicine. I've been muting. Oh, my allergies? Horrible. If I'm being honest. I'm gonna take my medicine. Yeah, the doctor gave me one that if I start coughing and I have a coughing fit, <clears throat> they gave me one to take in emergencies. So I think I, 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 I take it, so I should be fine. Hello, Mario. Hello, I'm Luigi. The stink tuber, no! I'm gonna shower. I didn't know it would be warm. I'm gonna shower. That's stinky. That's stinky. I swear I'm gonna shower soon. Quote unquote soon, okay? The legendary shower. It will happen. One day. Yeah, allergies suck right now. You prefer me being stinky? No! No stinky. It's getting warm there too. When you get a new tattoo. Oh! What's your tattoo of? Miku? You get a Miku tattoo? <laughs> Tattoos sound painful. I could never do that. okay to be stinky oh, okay <sighs> maybe I can truly be who I who I truly am then maybe it's possible for me too a uh, new game inspired by Silent Hill and RE that came out today you're ready to grab me. Oh, okay. Is she playing that? Is that what she's playing? <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, okay. very good. What is that? What is that? The best water Pokemon ever. A Sea King tattoo. The fish. The red fish. Really? That's the best water Pokemon? I don't actually think I have a favorite water type Pokemon. I would... I am not like a water Pokemon person. Huh. More of a fire Pokemon person. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, maybe, um... Hmm. What's a cute water Pokemon? 
Maybe, maybe Azuril? Actually, I think it's normal type, isn't it? When it's a baby? Hello, Bubba Bards. Whooper? <laughs> Do you have my V2 bottle tower on your left cheek? Do I want to know which cheek you're talking about? Um, thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I could never get a tattoo. It sounds like it hurts. It sounds like it hurts. Guys, I don't even have my ears pierced. I'm scared. I'm scared it'll hurt. I don't even get my ears pierced. Really? Yeah, really. I don't have my ears pierced. I've never really wanted to wear earrings though, so it's not that bad. You saw a two-year-old? Okay, if that two-year-old had the option, I guarantee you they would not want their ears to be pierced. Because it hurts. The baby did not consent. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They always have the crying baby at the Claire's, you know? Why would you take your kid to go to Claire's to get your ears pierced? When am I gonna hold- gonna get my hood tattoos? Oh wait, I already have them. I forgot, guys. I always forget. Yeah. But yeah. See, this represents, um, the pain in my heart. This represents the, uh, music in my heart. This, this is a star. I thought I liked stars. That's what that one means. Yeah. Hello, Abby. You like water types? You don't think you can say Sea King is your top pick? Flash. Oh. You like Blastoise? Oh, wait, Lapras. Yeah, Lapras is cool. Sl oh wait, Slowbro. Actually, I relate to Slowbro. Actually, wait. I changed- well, Slowbro is my favorite water Pokemon. I relate to Slowbro. He takes his time. Bro takes his time. <laughs> I've been in the joint- oh yeah, yeah. They let me out though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my tattoos, guys. I, I I was totally they're totally not stickers, okay? They're totally not stickers, they're real ink. They're cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I have heart sparkles? What? Renis and Nemesis both want stars? Yeah, me and Nemesis. Me and my bestie, Nemesis. Stars. Stars. I got that one. Like every member of Slowpoke family. Yeah, they're cute. If Flesh Tuber Rena has star tattoo in the back of my deck like a JoJo. I've never seen JoJo's. I have heart spark oh yeah, oh yeah, you didn't notice my eyes. Look, I have hearts in my eyes. See? Ow! Oh wrong eye. Ow! Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I have hearts in my eyes. Right there.
<laughs> poke, I don't poke. Big target. <laughs> I have eyes? Yeah. I also have ears. No nose though. Sorry. I haven't evolved that far yet. Which pair do I hear out of? It depends on the frequency. <laughs> I can ignore it through both of them though. When I'm told to clean the kitchen, I ignore with both of them. Yeah. Unfortunate. I use them for evil. No nose to smell myself. Yeah, that's why I don't mind. I'm not stinky. I'm not stinky. For real, for real. <laughs> The shower, it's coming soon. Quote unquote, soon. It's gonna happen. I swear. I'm very clean and organized and neat and tidy. I swear. Please believe me. <laughs> yeah, I do live like this. You like my place? I kind of fixed it up for a stream. I like to clean up a bit. I should put- if, I, I wish the TV was more in this- on- right, right here so I could put my own stream there. Okay. It's getting late. Almost 10 o'clock, guys. Um, I will be back on tomorrow. Do not trust the interior design of anyone named Chu. <laughs> Runa's place? She's, she has like that cavernous place, right? The basement? <laughs> she lives in the basement, doesn't she? Can I tell you, I saw a video on Twitter, it reminded me of, of Runa. <laughs> What's the name of the guy from Devil May Cry that she likes? What is his name? Dante? Is it Dante? I think it's this one. <clears throat> I was gonna wait till she did another stream where she took suggestions for videos <laughs> and send her this video to watch. Where did it go? Okay, let me let me link it in chat, and you guys tell me, or Fuzzy, tell me if this is the is the guy that she likes, because I don't know. There's like different versions of Dante, isn't there? We're doing that tomorrow. Oh, let's go. Okay, I'll send it to her tomorrow then, if if I can make it in time, because I'm actually also supposed to dream. Hold on. Okay, tell me if this is- let me- tell me, tell me if this is the right one. <clears throat> Cause that also has Leon. <laughs> that video. It is? Okay, I'll send it to her tomorrow then. <laughs> Hopefully, 
She starts before me, so maybe I'll send it to her before I start. Hello, Wild Trash Can. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you for coming. Dante and Dante. <laughs> Dute and Dante. There's a proper Devil May Cry Dante and DMC Dante. That's why I say I don't know the difference. That's why I'm like, I don't know if this is the right guy. But it reminded me of her. I was like, oh, she likes Dante. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. The hair color? Is that how you tell which one is which? Oh. Mmm. Ugh. The original Devil May Cry started out as a Resident Evil spinoff. I know! That's the only thing I know- honestly, that's the only thing I know about Devil May Cry. That it was gonna be RE4. But then it kinda turned into its own thing, didn't it? You're gonna head off then, gotta go to bed and watch the tattoo. Oh, no worries! Thank you for coming! I hope you have a good evening. I'm gonna end right now anyway. I have to go to bed. I gotta rest. I'm starting to cough. Dante? Wait, are you serious? There's Don Dante and Dante? What? Are, are you serious? Dante is British punk and Dante is saucy gay cowboy? Dante? It's a joke? Okay, I was like, wait, <laughs> there's no way. They would name a character Dante. Dang. I don't know anything about Devil May Cry. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, not a bot winky face and Morcon. Winky face, wink. It's so different. It's to differentiate the continuity. Oh. Definitely not a bot, guys. For sure. Dante is half devil, demon hunter. Oh, only half, huh? Only half, huh? Hmm. 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 Okay, I have to go. You're probably human? Hmm. Okay, I believe you. You can now send any link you want. You want me to download some files? Sure. Yeah, yeah, I, w I will raid tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Big red button. I love pressing buttons. Don't you guys love pressing buttons? Okay. Good night. Good night. Uh. Good night, Wink. Bye-bye.